were murdered by Mau Mau. Two men, Garamogi Oginga Odinga and Tom Boya, went around Kaluneni Social Hall, Muduro Social Hall in Makungeni, telling the people from the community to calm down and not to protest and not to cause chaos. Today, you excellent. great labor leader. If he was to wake up today, I'm sure he would be proud of the labor movement. He would be proud of Francis Atwoli because of the work you have done. And I want to thank you, my own dad, for what you have been to us. Hata kama last year, ulikuwa umenda njia ingine tafauti na sisi najua uliambia wafanyikazi wanipigie kura. Na nashukuru wafanyikazi kwa sababu ulinipigia kura. But as a mona, Papa Francis Atoli Amerudi Akukwalain, Nana support Raisuetu, William Samui Ruto. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, very quickly, I know many people who've come here today have experienced the challenge of drainage that we're facing in Nairobi today. A lot of our roads are flooded, a lot of our highways are flooded because of a number of things. Number one, a lot of illegal dumping has been going on in the city. Number two, Your Excellency, I know some of the works are going on. We have started with Kenha and Kura. We've gotten a contractor on Huru Highway and Wayaki Way to finish the work. Because when they did the expressway, ni kama walifikiria watu wajupeke yao, watu wachini wakasaulika. So our teams are going down the county, sorting out that challenge of drainage. But we have agreed with the Director General of NEMA. Nairobi is the environment capital of the world. We host UNEP. Paper bags that are plastic and bottles had been burned, but they have come back. In a week, we are going to go into another operation to make sure that plastic paper bags that have been burned, because they are the ones clogging our drainage, are no longer in our markets, are no longer in our supermarkets, because we must keep our city clean. I want to thank you because we've been able now, um, and towards the end of this week, to Nandika, Vijana Elfutatu Miatano, ambao watakuja kusaidia kufagia Nairobi na kusafisha wale wafanyikazi ambao walikuwa wanafanya hiyo kazi tukio watoto ndio bado wanafanya leo wamekuwa wachache na wamezeeka so wiki hii ikienda kuisha vijana 3500 na kina mama wataandikwa kazi Nairobi hii watusaidie na kazi hiyo jambo lingine kwa sababu leo ni siku ya wafanyikazi na nakushukuru kwa sababu najua kwa taifa lote unafanya Nairobi tayari tuko na community health promoters ama CHVs 7460 your excellency kila mwezi tarehe 27 mpesa inatingika wanapata pesa yao bila kuchelewa na nimeshukuru kwa sababu umesema as a national government unatuongezea elfu ngine mbili so wanairobi watakuwa napata elfu tano miatano miatano tunawalipia nhf elfu tano tulisema pesa mfukoni asante sana your excellency nikienda kumalizia nafikiri ni muhimu kusema ya kwamba every labor day there is a pronouncement on minimum wage sometimes it increases sometimes it stays stagnant Whenever you make that announcement, the public sector is always very quick to comply. The public sector. But the private sector tuko na shida. Sekta moja ambayo najua ni sekta ya private security workers. Maaskari wetu. Maaskari wetu ambao wanalala usiku, wana, wanalala mchana ndio usiku wawe kazini na mara nyingi hata mchana hawalali kwa sababu wanashikilia kazi mbili wanalipo elfu ine, wanalipo elfu tano, yet to pronounce minimum wage above 13,000 shillings. Many of these private companies zina charge wenye manyumba 30,000 shillings kwa uwa askari moja, 
50000 shillings kwa askari moja alafu unalipa mtu 1600 kwa uchumi hii your excellency ni jambo la kusikitisha sana tusaidie kwa private security workers najua aiza kandabu wako hapa mahali ndio yule kukaa wangu ambaye ndio secretary general bado tawatetea na naomba your excellency uwakaribishe siku moja wa state house kuna wakati niliwapeleka huko awali ilikuwa mara ya kwanza tangu Mungu ajenge Kenya askari kuingia state house state house inalindwa na GSU na waliingia wakaongea lakini hajatekelezwa i know in your government you are going to do something good because there are 450000 of them across Kenya there are 250000 of them in Nairobi ya mwisho ambao ni wafanyikazi wanaumia ni madereva wetu wa Uber madereva wa Taxify madereva wa Bolt hawa madereva wa the digital hailing companies these companies because of competition na tumefanya regulations tayari ambazo ziko kwa waziri Murkomen the rest to the bottom today you will take a taxi from here to the airport na ulipe 600 90% of the accidents we have is because these drivers have to drive for 22 hours a day to make money the competition authority and the AA of Kenya can come up with a pricing formula hiyo kazi tayari tulifanya it is just to gazette those regulations ili pia kadere aweze kupata kitu in town we have designated spots for them to pick and drop walikuwa wanashikwa so excellence kwa hayo mengi ningependa kumwandika asante asante sana amenikumbusha jambo jingine but your excellency i would like to invite uh, Federation of Kenya employers as she comes please take that point seriously those people are suffering those drivers are really suffering we thank you for your support and allow me to introduce now uh, Jacqueline Mugo FKE um, chair i forgot to mention the area mp Jalango is here please mama wave to undo mp wa hapa langata thank you Dr. William Ruto, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President. Honorable Musale Amudabadi, the Prime Cabinet Secretary. Our Governor, Johnston Sakaja, for Nairobi County. Your Excellencies, the Ambassadors and High Commissioners present, the Cabinet Secretary for Labor and Social Protection, Honorable Florence Bore, Cabinet Secretaries present, 